this here is Pope's Road, as you can see. And this is the entrance to the indoor market, which I'm about to show you where I like to get quite a lot of produce. So this here is the green onions, also known as spring onion, also known as scallion. And I work with this when I'm doing my salads, fritters, stews, you name it. We work with this. This is the staple ingredient for all meals. Uh, this is the best due to the chlorophyll content, so we like to work with that. We also have our fresh thyme. This market is quite good, because you can get quite a lot here when it comes to living a natural lifestyle. We have the parsley, which I like to use when juicing in particular. We have the fresh coriander, which I like to use for salads, stews, curries, all of that. Now the red peppers is my foundation for my stews and my soups and condiments such as if I'm doing like a barbecue sauce or something like that. The green peppers I use mainly in raw dishes or when I'm doing like a fritter, like a callaloo fritter or something like that. Uh, I also use it in my West African style soups or stews such as the Adi Kong stew. I like to use it for that or if I'm making like a shito. I like to work with the green peppers and red sometimes, but green is dope. The yellow peppers, sometimes orange, but not really, I don't really use that much. I do if I'm getting it in like a pack or so, but mainly the yellow peppers for curries. If I'm doing, um, yeah, like a, you could say like a katsu curry, or if I'm doing a soup, uh, or if I'm doing a sauce, maybe a condiment, like a salad dressing or something like that, I would use the yellow peppers. We also have some fresh dill, which I like to use when I'm doing fritters, fresh salads, uh, warm salads in particular. If I'm making fritters, I like to add that. Today I'm making a red stew. Oh my girls are gonna love that. That's their favorite thing to have is stew, fufu, maybe with um, fonio or like a wild rice dish, uh, quinoa, maybe jell-off. That's another thing. I use the red bell peppers for gel off. That's the foundation to the gel off to get it really nice and give it that flavor, that depth that we all love. The red bell peppers are an essential part to it. I'm very much fond of going to the market myself and choosing my own produce because you get to choose it. You know, like it will be so disappointing ordering something and then having this in your box so i really do encourage you to go out there go to the market so we have our squash some butternut squash i use it occasionally but i'm not really a big fan of butternut squash if i'm keeping them up you can go past here we have key limes you can get them in most places within brixton market but they have them here so this is why i love this space because it's like a you know just one shop where you can get majority of your alkaline produce here we have the whole kombucha squash you can also get it cut up in pieces if you don't want to go through the hacking process of this but if you were to get this the best way to i would say prepare it is just wash the outer layer and hopefully you have a big enough oven and you can just put the whole thing in the oven on preferably on a tray because it will leak okay you don't want the juices flowing into your oven the base of your oven and you can cook it like that or you can you know chop it up yourself or you can have it already chopped so this is really dope you can use this as your carrot replacement for dishes if you want to do carrot juice you can use this instead if you want to do like a soup pumpkin soup see all the idle soups that you see me making this is what i'm using as my base for flavor depth texture and fiber we have some fennel here but i wouldn't purchase that i don't like the look of that i'd rather get my fennel loose fresh with its leaves attached to it they also have some fresh herbs here as well they've got the wild arugula sorry you can go by they've got the wild arugula here they've got some basil we have some tarragon rosemary fresh i love to work with these when i'm doing my fritters when i'm making sauces adding it to salads stews jell-off you name it we've got some fresh oregano this is really dope for steaming the only too but also you can use it in your dishes in your mode we have some 
fresh bay leaf here as well and this pickle mix with some tarragon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can get fresh thyme here. They have some avocados in here. I don't necessarily buy my avocados from here. You can even get the packaged bell peppers here as well. Um, yeah, you can get the package habanero, but I like to buy mine loose because again I like to choose. We've got some bitter melon here. We've got lots of red onions and stuff down there. You've got red onions and whatnot down there. You can buy it in bulk, like a big bag for probably like two pounds or something. It's really really good. Very cheap. Here's a scotch bonnet. This is how I like to buy it. Now, this is beautiful. We've come to a wonderful section because many of you are always asking what's the difference between African ginger and hybrid ginger. As we can see, here's your hybrid. And here you can see this is your natural form of ginger. Prepare a tea if you're having gastrointestinal issues, headaches, any form of circulatory cardiovascular issues, you can use this. Okay. Stay away from this, work with the smaller kind. I want to show you something here. Look at the difference between these okras. Look how fine this is and look how rigid this is. Now okra, that's something that I do consume and I love it. As a woman, I think it's very beneficial to women. So I would work with this kind, with the rich, rigid, rather than this kind. This is much better. I would do like an okra stew or soup, add it to my soups. Um, I can eat it raw. I like to eat it raw as well. And sometimes I just add it to hot water and just drink the juice. And that's very good for the vagina. If you're menopausal, do you have any, you know, PMS issues? It's good to drink that. Mix it with some sea moss. That's good. Now, I'm going to take you down the aisle of the seasonings, the dried seasonings. We don't work with any of this Raja stuff. I'd rather stick with this brand here. Idea, I think it's pronounced. So let's go through what I would get. We have the onion powder, coriander seeds, cayenne, cinnamon sticks, and natto. I work with that. You can get them in smaller sizes. The bay leaf, the yeah, natto also comes in a smaller size. Cinnamon too. They have the onion, allspice. Now for dried herbs, I would rather go to the whole food store and get my dried herbs because the quality to me is a lot better. Or I would order my dried herbs in bulk online. So dried herbs such as the basil, oregano, stuff like that. Or I just go to the Brixton whole food store to get my dried herbs. So this is what I've got here today. I'm going to make myself a little pot of soup, Get some key limes, my bell peppers for the base of the red stew, some onions and some coriander and Now the beautiful thing about this indoor market is that there's two entrances, so I'm going to show you that. So everything came up to £13. Pretty I roll with the trolley. I don't play about. Now, in this store, you also can get mushrooms, but they don't have them in stock. The mushrooms, yeah, they, sometimes they're in the fridge area, or they usually buy the vegetables. Make some fresh sage as well. That's really good. Beautiful. Go out the other entrance. Remember, there's two entrances. Brixton Market is home. Okay, so we're at the beautiful business rooms. So here we come here to get a lot of our produce. Look at these babies. These babies are so cute. We have everything here. I came for Kalaloo today. The jelly coconuts, mangoes, dried coconuts, chicken This is what we use to make milk. This here we just use it 
to, we can also use this to make milk as well. Um, but we mainly just drink the water and eat the flesh or add it to smoothies, things of that nature. They have the glow red grapes. We've got some Nepalas, which is what I like to add on. I don't necessarily cook with this. I'd rather add it to a smoothie or do a facial with it or add it to a conditioner or wash my hair with it. These are the best avocados. None of them are ripe though. Okay, these ones are. Some June plums here, some cucumbers. Hello. Good that is. This one is right. Because they can't afford to give them something. They want investment, so they have to add We'll get two of these. We'll here as well. No, no. We've got some key limes too. How are you? Alright, so now I'm taking you to where I get my bloggers and most of my fruits as well. So we're going to cut through the indoor market again. This is just my little short guy. Excuse me, please. So like I said here, you can get like a big bulk of bread onions. Very cheap. I think they're like it's just under three pound a bag, if that. You can also get them loose as well. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Alright, so here. This is one place that I go to, this is Abdul's. We can also get Kalaloo, but I prefer to get it from the me. Bananas, key limes, spring onions, bitter, bitter melon, more avocados. Um, these ones are not the correct ones. As you can see, they're inverted. We don't eat these ones. Papaya, some Indian mangoes. Those are the correct turmoils. I like that. We've got some salsa here as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me go over here. So, those are the two places that I go to, and this one here. First one, second one. Hello, how are you? How are you? Well, thank you. So, first time. Ah, we have bloggers. So, this is where I usually come and get the bloggers. And this is what I use for the children. Actually, no, this is not it. No, this is not blogger. When will you get some blogger banana? You have yesterday, but all finished. It's all finished, okay. So this here is matoke. What we want is blogger. <laughs> all right then, that's a shame, because I really wanted... Let me get some more avocados then. Let me see what else. And some of the... This mango here, is it sweet? I didn't trust it. I haven't tried but that one before. The sweetest one, honestly, this one. Is, is it? Yeah, yeah I'm going to try that because I want something very sweet. Okay, so this is the green papaya. This is what I would not give anyone that wants to conceive or anyone that is pregnant. Because this can cause miscarriages. Now, if you were dealing with fibroids, then you can work with, and you're not pregnant, that is, you can juice this green papaya and do that every single day and that can help to shrink the fibroids. Alright, let me try some of these ones in. I think my husband bought me one of these before. Here you go. We've got a variety of some seeded grapes here and some gillips as well. 
finish the hot chocolate over here to get some guava, juniper, plum. It's not stringy, is it? No. Oh, brilliant. What mango is this then? Brazilian mango. Brazilian mango. Okay. And this is the Indian one? No, no, the Dominican Republic. Okay, Dominican Republic. And what about this one here? One as well, Brazilian, but different. Okay. I need to learn the varieties. I, this is the most common one that I grew up yeah. seeing. What is this one? This one is not good. You see it in Tesco's and all that as well now. It's terrible. This is my main space. It's got the green onions in the back. They've got key limes in the back as well. They've got lots of avocados. Sometimes if you don't see something, ask them because they may have it in their storage. So ask them. You've got some. How much do I owe you? Okay, cool. I'll, I just want to get some ginger. Okay. We've got the kombucha squash over there again. Can I get a bag for ginger, please? Thank you. Got a mixture of squash bonnets and habaneros together. These avocados are terrible. You want to go for those ones? It tastes so much better. Thank you. Um, I want a ripe avocado. Yeah. Pre the one with yellow skin. The ones at the bottom here, in the front, in the front, down, a bit down. Yeah. Yes. Let me see. Let me That's okay because I'll let it ripe. Up. Yeah, I like that. And the next one. The one that's next to it, yeah. Let me see that one. Yeah, they're not ready yet. I'll take these two and see if they're okay. On the other side, they have some. Um, not from the other side. Did, does your oranges have seeds? Uh, uh, yes, that, that one. How many do you have? This one here, does it have seed? Do you have seeds in it? Okay, cool. Um, I'm just showing them something. So here we've got some fennel, but I don't like the look of that. We have some uh, courgettes. And they also have some more parsley and bell peppers and spring onions on this side. So this is my main stop. This is where I like to shop. Okay, so I'm ready now. Not orange yet? Mm, no, I'll leave it. Don't worry. When you need it, I have some. Okay, don't worry. All right then. I, I just wanted to make a lot yeah. of seeded ones. Yeah, I have a lot of boxes. I need to finish up this one. How much is I a box? Those today. So I'll be seated. I don't know. Just came today, Dali. When you need, don't worry. Okay. Those are the shops that I mainly shop at. That's it. Mushrooms. There's a local green grocer near my house. Um, so they get some really good mushrooms. It's literally like a three minute walk from my home. So I mainly get my mushrooms from there. Crimini, cr crimini chestnut, oyster, and sometimes they have mataki. If you want more of a variety of mushrooms, then I'd encourage you to go to Bar Market. So here it is, as bricks been popped, so all you need to do is when you see that sign, just walk up this road here. Uh, this is Pope's Road. If you can see that. Yes, yeah, Pope's Road. Most market stores in Brixton tend to sell the produce, but everyone always has the guys that they go to, right? In terms of, you know, produce and whatnot. There's also a few Ghanaian yeah, there's two Ghanaian um, market stores there as well. And that's where I get my precursor, my, uh, my grains of paradise, my African ginger if I want that. Um, what else do I usually go there for? That's about it really. That's about it. Oh, and if you want to buy a baby net, you can get it from there. If you want sheer butter, you can get it from there. However, I don't really, I don't really, I buy mine in bulk. I trust that this video served you well. 
head down to Brixton, South London and see the variety of things that you can get. It's abundant. I get majority, 90% of my food comes from Brixton Market. So I trust it will serve you well. Learn how to cook alkaline food for you and your family today. I have a cookbook called Cook with Matulu and here you can learn over 100 alkaline recipes for you and the whole family, including weaning babies. I have so much information on how to transition and how to just make it simple yet enjoyable. Head to matulu.co.uk and you can download our ebook now, Cook with Matulu. Take care, lovelies.